You're watching a live Cowboys Q&A, so use hashtag Cowboys to get your comments on the show. Many of you have asked about it or have desired it, trading Zeke Elliott. Not the first time I've seen it. I'm sure it's not going to be the last. I will try to hammer this point home because I get why you people ask it. It is not really possible. The way that Zeke's contract is structured, they cannot afford to trade him away. You would pay Zeke more to trade him before his option bonus kicks in than you would to keep him. It's not a tradable contract right now for the Cowboys. You'd be eating like $20 million of dead money. At that point, it is simply not feasible to trade Zeke. Or if it is feasible, the asking price that you would demand for having to eat so much dead money, no one's ever going to pay it. So I, I know some of you want Zeke traded. You can type T if you do. The answer, though, is simple. It's keep him. Your trade Zeke window is dead. It's over. It's not going to come back up for another two or three years. So Zeke is your running back of the future and present. You have committed to him. You just better hope that things can get going again on the offensive side of the ground for the Cowboys. My man, Bajan, Missouri, says, Tom, I am proposing to my girlfriend on the game against the Bears. Can we get a congratulations for him in the comments? That's awesome, my man. Congrats. Dude. That's super cool. I know she's going to say yes. That is awesome. And that's one of the coolest things I've seen here on the show. Congratulations. Let me know how it goes. I'm sure it'll go well. But everyone say congrats to my main man, Bijan Manzuri. That is awesome, my friend. I can't wait to see how that goes. So congrats very much to Bijan. Everyone type in congrats there in the comments section. This is super cool. I, I, I'm sure she's a Cowboys fan as well there. But everyone type in congrats for me because that's one of the cooler things I think I'll see today even in light of a Cowboys win. That's awesome, man. Congrats very, very much. There they all coming in there. Frost and Allen and Enderman and Reckless. That's cool stuff. Troy, do we need to have, have Dak have the same type of game against England in order to beat them? I, I don't think you need to, but I think you want that type of game. And it probably gives you the best odds. You can still win games with maybe Zeke breaks out. I, I don't know if that's going to happen. But I think you want Dak to have that type of game. If he does, probably gives you the best chance for it. Turner Sears, do you think the ginger clapper, <laughs> that's a funny burn, has learned anything from this game? I hope so. Like I, I, I would have said no had they come out running the football a ton. I, I, I think they understand finally that you got to let Dak sling it. I hope this is a, a game of, okay, we're going to keep doing this, this, and this, and not a regression back against the Patriots where you want to try and control the clock. I'm Just let Dak sling it. If you lose it at the hands of Dak Prescott, it's fine. That's fine. Allen Williams, why doesn't Dallas play Jordan Lewis more? In my opinion, he's one of the best DBs on the roster. The Cowboys treat him as the nickel corner. We did see Anthony Brown briefly. I wasn't paying close attention. I'll figure it out later who he came in for. But Jordan Lewis needs to start. He's a playmaker. He's your best nickel corner there. So I agree, Allen. The keep Jordan free movement forever shall be in effect here on the Cowboys Report because he continues to be your best option at nickel corner, if not your best, your second best corner overall on the roster. Of course, Byron Jones leading the way there as your number one. Owen Shane, do you think that can outduel Tom Brady? It's not just going to be on the shoulders of your quarterback for this upcoming game. It's going to also have to be some help from your defense. If the defense you saw against Detroit shows up again, there's no way that the Cowboys are going to be are going to beat the Patriots. You have to have a better defensive showing. Outdueling isn't just from the quarterbacks. The defenses play a big, big factor. The O lines, everybody in that as well. Turner Sears is ZK got my money. I'm done, player. I don't think so. Um, I hope not. Maybe the nose rings are bad luck or something. I, I, I'm also not going to write off Zeke long term after like 10 game sample size. If he's if he's bad next year, we can have that discussion. I, I don't think that's the case, and I hope that's not the case. I don't I don't think that's the, the vibe I got from Zeke before this, so we'll see. All right, Ashlyn Schreyer, fire Jason Garrett. FG in the comments if you agree. He has to go. I mean, I, I, I get it. 
I, I don't think this is the game in which you demand the head of Jason Garrett. I think it's just a, okay, well, we expected to win that game. We'll come back in next week, whatever. My mindset does not change if they win this week over the, the Detroit Lions. Jason Garrett still continues to be Jason Garrett. He is who we thought he is. We'll see how he does going forward. I get the FGs. I, that's my vote right now, but we'll see how things happen in the end. All right, next up here, or we have a reminder, everyone here. Follow Kashiyama Taylor's on Instagram. I jumped ahead to the next question because I'm an idiot. wasn't following my own script. We will give away the suit coming up here in just a little bit. It will be announced at the end of the show, the winner. You are still eligible to win. Go follow Kashiyama Taylor's on Instagram. That is on Instagram, at Kashiyama Taylor. Shout out, Mitch, you just got that in the comments for us. If we get to 3,700 followers, we will give away a second free suit. Now, we'll put this on loop for the live show here, so... We'll keep it going as long as we can for you guys. I'm going to keep fighting. I can get that number lower. We'll see. But go follow them on Instagram, at Kashiyama Taylors. Free suit winner coming up tonight. And just a little bit, maybe about 10, 15 minutes away, somewhere in, in that time frame here. So stay tuned. Two suits if we get to 3,700 followers. All right. Try it, fan. Did I say that right? I bet 50 to win 1,000 on the Cowboys winning the Super Bowl. Will I win? Uh, you don't want my answer. But I will instead give a speaking into existence answer of the Cowboys are good on the Super Bowl for you, and I'm going to be positive and speak positive energy into the universe in the hope that somehow it comes true. It, I would probably bet that no, it's, it's not that. Now, hopefully you bet on BetDSI. They have Cowboys Super Bowl odds right there. Chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code COWBOYS120 for a 120% deposit bonus. You put down 50 bucks. They're going to give you 60 for free. Chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code COWBOYS120. Gets you extra deposit bonus. Chris Taylor, what do you think the Cowboys draft needs will be after the season? I, I think it depends on what happens in free agency. I, corner is going to be one. Anthony Brown, Byron Jones, both free agents. I think Cooper is is going to be back. I think Dak is going to be back as well. So I think corner's a big one. You're going to have to look at defensive tackle because you can't enter next year expecting Chris Neal to start. That's a bad idea. Plus, Chris Cunningham is a free agent. I think Anton Woods is like a free agent or something there. Maybe he's in the off, right? One of those two. And then safety. They were willing to move a first-round pick for Jamal Adams. Safety, defensive line, corner, maybe receiver, but maybe that's more of a day two pick. And the option there. Samuel, do you think Zeke is hurt? Just seems slow. I, the explosion's not there. I think that is a possibility. I don't think he's hurt, though. Like, I, I, I think he's going to be Zeke. I, I hope he's going to bounce back. He hasn't been the Zeke we know from 2016. Maybe he loses a little bit of weight. Maybe he's a bit too heavy. I don't have a great answer there. All right, next up here from Mike. Eagles running up and down the field on the path. Let's see how the, the end results here. Um, the plan for the Cowboys, I think, should be very similar, frankly, to what we saw. Like, just let Dak sling it. I, the Patriots have a great defense. It's not going to be easy. I think you need your players to play out of their mind, and that includes Zeke Elliott being better. If we get the defense and the Zeke we saw against the Detroit Lions, it's not going to be a win. Summer Shelby, is Randall Cobb pretty much okay after that hit? I see him in the hit he had on the touchdown where he got rocked and there was a flag. I think he's fine. He stayed in the game. I thought had a drop, but whatever, it's fine there. I, I, th I think he's okay. We'll see if there's any lingering issues, but I think Randall Cobb will be okay for the Cowboys. Just, you know, cut down on those drops. That's always the issue there. Manster 54, Tom gets a nose ring if we win the Super Bowl. My wife says no. Also, I say no, because I'm not that much of trash. White trash, of course. Um, I, I'm going to say no on that one, especially if it's the Zeke, like, double one. No, that's that's not me. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass on that one. It's funny, though, Manster. I like it. it, it it's, it's a good joke, but uh, I'm going to say no on that one. So, sorry about that. There will not be a Tom Downey nose ring anytime soon. Jose, how good do you think the line will be next week? Mm, we'll see. Um, it's going to be a tougher matchup. Patriots front is better than the Lions. They've been 
pretty bottom tier of the NFL all year long. I thought they played pretty well. We'll just have to wait and see uh, as to just how good they'll play. Hopefully they'll be okay. I think they might attack Suofilo, and hopefully Lael Collins good to go as well. Jap, the president, OPM Productions. What is the change that Jordan Lewis will start? You would have to bench Awuzie because you're sure as hell not going to bench Byron Jones. This probably isn't the week to claim a, to call for Awuzie's head. I thought he's actually pretty solid in this one. Make him your nickel corner. I can accept that. Not what I would do. I'd, I'd make him your number two, then the nickel corner, base, and then nickel respectively, of course. But I, I don't think this is the week to call for Jordan Lewis quite yet, at least in terms of uh, effectiveness. All right, Kaleem, should Dak run the ball more? Yeah, I wouldn't mind it. Um... I think it's a good idea. Also, I'm not going to complain about Dak not running the football enough when he's throwing for 400-plus yards. Like, I'll, I'll take the aggressiveness downfield than the three to four whatever or pickups there by the um, by the the, uh, the Cowboys on the ground. Everyone, do me a favor. Make sure you are subscribed to us here on YouTube. we got over 300 watching. I'm sure not all of you are, are long-time watching. So if it's your first time watching the show, we do live Q&A. We do mailbag stuff. We do highlights, grades, news, rumors, everything here on the Dallas Cowboys Report. So go subscribe. It's YouTube.com slash Dallas Cowboys Report. It's YouTube.com slash Dallas Cowboys Report. That is the link. Turn those notifications on. You have all kinds of great stuff here on the Cowboys Report. Dustin wants to know, what was that announcement that Gronk made about the Cowboys? Nothing really. Everyone freaked out about it because it's Gronk and the Cowboys. So Gronk basically said... The Cowboys need a tight end like him. He's laughing about it the entire time because he's right. A actual you know, playmaker at tight end would be great. He also was asked, like, oh, you're going to come back and play for the Cowboys? And he jokingly says, huh, you never know. Gronk's not coming out of retirement. And certainly not for the Cowboys because even if he does come out of retirement, the Patriots have his rights. So if there's pretty much no way to get Gronk to Dallas right now. So funny Twitter moment, but don't expect anything. Plain and simple. Jay Weber, if the Cowboys use Jarwin more, our offense would be even more dangerous. You, my friend, are right. I would use Jarwin a lot more. Witten, he's a good blocker still, but that man is old and he is slow. Like, the Cowboys have got to utilize Jarwin more in the passing game. Maybe it telegraphs it a little bit too much, but use Jarwin. Like, let, let him play. That, that's your biggest thing there. Destroyer Dog, who will play best versus the Patriots? Ooh, good question. Um, I'm going to go. It's a tough one for me. Uh, I'm going to go with the hot hand. Give me Dak Prescott. He has been incredible so far this year. He has been your best player on this team. I'm going to roll with Dak Prescott as the, the answer here for the Dallas Cowboys. He has been great, and I'm going to hope he continues to be the best player there. As promised, folks, the Kashiyama suit winner. From Instagram, Blake Harville. We just we just ran the numbers there. Shout out producer Alicia for getting the name. Randomly, of course, by the way, folks. Blake Harville is the free custom suit winner from Kashiyama. Blake, I know you're watching right now. So what you need to do is DM at Chat Sports on Instagram. We'll get that link in the chat for you. It is at Chat Sports on Instagram. So Blake, I know you're watching. DM Chat Sports will get you hooked up with that free suit. And a reminder here. We're going to put this on loop. So with the 3,700 mark still open. I will leave it open for the entirety of the show. I'll see if I can't get that number down a little bit as well for you guys. So if you didn't win, go tell your friends. Follow them on Instagram. We can still give away a second to get to 3,700. Blake is your free winner there. And if we didn't get to your questions today, I'll go hit me up on Twitter at WhatGoingDown. Hey, Cowboys fans. Thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the Internet. That's news, rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.